Hello, Mr. Swinger One here. Um, I wanted to show you guys this, this is a Craigslist, Craigslist ad. It says Mopar Super 318, 4200 bucks. I'm going to read what it says. Now, keep in mind, this is Craigslist. <clears throat> Mopar 318 truck block, 40 thousandths overboard, 324 cubic inch displacement, balanced rotating assembly, 340 steel crank with windage tray. Eagle Eye Beam Rods, Keith Black Pistons, Comp Extreme Hydraulic Cam, 230-236 at 50, part number 20-224-4, Edelbrock Aluminum Heads, PRW 1.6 6, 1 Stainless Rockers, Double Roller Timing Chain. So, best I can tell, it's a Mopar Magnum with Edelbrock Heads, 4200 bucks. 318, 5.2. Let's see if we can get in close on that. Looks neat, don't it? Um, but $4,200. Now, come over here to Summit. Three, uh, ATK High Performance Chrysler 360 Magnum. 320 horse, stage one, long block. 3200 bucks, claiming 320 horse. Now, keep in mind the other ad didn't claim any horsepower rating at all. Um, that one's 8400 That's ridiculous. Let's look for something affordable here. There's a straight reman, um, we manufactured long block, $1,700. Now keep in mind, these ones down here don't have no horsepower rating. They're probably not performance built, but let's get back to this. So you get a 360. 3200 bucks. I believe it's free shipping. So now if you go to Jags, this same motor might be $2,700 to $500 shipping. There is a core charge, $310. So let's look here. Now there's still five, six grand. Let's look at, let's look at the Jags deal. Jeg's Chrysler Magnum, twenty seven hundred ninety nine. Core charge three ten. Um, truck freight one hundred eighty four dollars. So you're looking at let's just say twenty seven ninety nine three ten. That's thirty one hundred dollars. Truck freight another one eighty four. Another two hundred. So you're thirty three hundred dollars. But you're gonna get one, you know, you're gonna get your 184 or your 310 back for the core charge. So what you're at $2,800, 310 horsepower, 400 foot pounds, 360 magnum. So what I'm saying is, what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy that home built 318 with that'll brock heads for 4200 dollars Are you gonna go for this for under three and then throw your intake on it and go down the road? I don't know. Um, and the point is, none of this stuff is budget-minded. If you're going to dump a lot of time and money into a 318, you might want to look around at these performance crate engines that are still available. Um, although it does say here, it's not in stock. You see that? Now... There's one here from another company. ATK HP73 High Performance Crate Engine. Let's look at this. That's that's saying 310 horse, 400 foot pound. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Would you rather have that hot 318 with no uh, horsepower rating claimed? Where you go with a crate engine. I still say these days your best bang for the buck is the Magnum. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't mess around with a, a 360 LA or a uh, 318. Well, definitely not a 318 LA. But, and the reason being is because you got the roller cam and the Magnum and the heads are better. The heads are a better casting. They flow better. I believe they have bigger valves. Don't quote me. They might be 192. Um, but it's just... Uh, Something to think about.
if you're on a budget, you know, under three grand, this thing gets shipped to you. Claim 310 horsepower, 400 foot pound of torque, ready to go. Yeah, see, that's a Magnum. It's got the roller cam. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, something to think about.